So today's subject is the Joby Gorillapod. Now I've had this Joby Focus for a little over a year. I know that because I just checked the warranty. I was gonna send it in for a repair because it's too loose around these top hinges up here. And I realized that the warranty that they give is only a year. So I'm out of luck. I just decided to try something. I used to install car stereos for fun. Just so I've done like some basic electrical wiring and stuff like that. And when you do that, you can either use a splice, uh, like a plastic splice where you crimp the edges or you can use caps, right? Um, you can also use something that's called a heat shrink, which is a piece of rubber that when you heat it, uh, contracts to about 50% of its original size. So that's what I decided to try on this larger level. Now I tried the 35 millimeter uh, heat shrink, which was just enough to slide over this, okay? And then I started at this side and I started to heat it and go around all the way down till it got the shape of the Gorilla Pod all the way down to the end. And it works great. It, uh, before it wasn't holding the weight of my camera. I have my Canon here with the Manfrotto quick release plate on it. And when I would put it like this, so you, you know, you want to do a low shot. I put it like that and it would just start to slide very slowly, which is totally unusable. I can't use that. So this works. It's great. It's nice. It's solid. Um, I've gained, I feel like I've gained at least a couple pounds of strength by using this uh, heat shrink. So yeah, so I'm really excited that it worked. It's it's super durable now. <laughs> um, and you can still flex it, you can still use it, so it's not unusable. Uh, one thing that I did discover is that most of the flex, most of the part where it gets worn out is right up here, close to the uh, right up at the top here. So I had a little bit of extra heat shrink left over. The heat shrink comes in about, uh, it's, a, it's a meter is the length of it, which is three feet. Each one of these legs is about a foot. So you have a little bit left over because you're not gonna go all the way over the edge here. I left a, you know, I cut it a little bit short, right? Because you don't ever use this, the end anyway. So I covered this part and then I put a little extra up here at the top. So I took the extra pieces that I had. First I did the, the initial heat shrink, right? Made it nice and tight. Then I put on the next one, which is a little bit smaller. And then heat that up. And so I have a little extra support. Um, especially on the ones, there was two that were very, very uh, loose. That helped a lot. I think this is really going to help extend the life of this thing so I don't have to pay another $80 to get one of these things because these are great I've been using this I use it as like a, a shoulder rig so you can put one up here and you can extend these out and hold it and you can hold it out like that you can do a, whole, a shoulder rig they also put the Zacuto on the back of the camera and you can put it right up to your eye it's it's fantastic it works great and then you can just pop stuff off and boom and you're 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 in low mode or you know you can you can wrap it around a tree or whatever you want to do so that was my quick tip about the Joby gorilla pod if you're struggling with yours or if it's sitting in the closet because it's just not working anymore you can try that uh, I'll put the link in the uh, in the description for the the Amazon uh, heat shrink it's like five dollars if you have Amazon Prime it's free shipping and you get it in two days so it's really fun it's kind of a neat project and if you don't like it you can just cut it off just just use a knife cut it off no big deal right anyway happy shooting and uh, take care <laughs>